doing different apart from doing it in a civilized way? Fundamentally, what are we doing different? Nothing. And once in a while, you get a Ravi Shankar, or you get a Mozart, or you get a, an Isaac Newton, or you get a Da Vinci who says, screw the system. I'm going to think for myself, or a Gandhi, or, or someone who changes, and he jumps off the cart that's moving slowly, and he runs ahead, and he makes a way for everyone else, and says, you know what, there's a road over here too. Why don't you bring, come down this way? But it takes that initiative. It takes that courage. And as children, you all have that courage. And when you see children, they have that courage. And what education is doing only is to serve to bring them into a job, to make money. But what about what they want to do? What about what they dream of? And that's what creates disease. That's what creates illness. That's what creates suicide. That's what creates all the problems that people go through is their heart is not free. Okay? So we don't want, we don't, as cheaply students, the students of mine, I'm always telling you stuff like this because I want you all to be free. And yes, you keep your jobs, do everything you're doing, stay in education, but make sure you're listening to this thing inside that's ticking away and talking to you, and you do something about what it's saying to you. And if you're lucky enough to make a vocation out of it, like what I've done, then fantastic, you've hit, you've hit a jackpot. But don't neglect it. And when you deal with these kids, listen to what they're saying to you. Like I said, they're not stupid. Don't make them afraid when they haven't seen anything to be afraid of. They will make money. They will make money, because they need to eat. They're not going to just die and thinking, oh, maybe I'll just die. And if they, if, they, if they want love, they'll find a partner. And if they want to make children, they'll make children. It's going to happen anyway because it's pre-programmed. The survival instinct, the procreation. It's pre-programmed. You don't have to bark at them all day about it. Just relax, just chill. It's fine. And maybe in that process, you'll let yourself go a little bit. Are you feeling me? Mm -hmm. So what else do you think? What else comes to you when I say all this stuff? We can become children again. We can become children. You are a child, aren't you? But what, what are you? I mean, in, in yoga, we talk about hundreds and eons of lifetimes, yeah? And in the scope of all of these lifetimes that you have, what, 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 what's your growth from a 5-year-old to a 35-year-old? You've made no development. You're still the same. So you're still in that space of... You can do anything you want tomorrow. You're still fresh. There's no age in the soul. The soul doesn't age. You just do what you want to do. And those of you who stay young eternally, it's because you always follow your heart. You, you're true to yourself. Those are the ones who stay young eternally, strong till the day they die. And they're true to themselves. So... I want you to remember these things today. Come to a cross-legged position where you are. Close your eyes.